going way over there. I planted it at uh, 2 a.m. Trying to go about four miles an hour, and I'm accounting for wheel slip. Going over my last pass because it was all gas, emptying out the applicator. And I forgot to clean off the rear window. <coughs> See, now if we look at our monitor here, it's half covered up. The most important thing you're watching is the dial on the front. shows me how much is in the tank and then you can kind of see the pressure gauge once the pressure drops below 100 pounds that's when I'm out of liquid and it's all gas in the tank but you can't see that unless I get really low here uh, we got a pull rope and turn it on and off Knifing five rows of anhydrous so we can side dress six. And we used to side dress, except it was very time consuming in July when we were trying to bail hay. So now we do pre plan. We were side dressing with three knives for four rows. on the very end there. We don't use the wings. They're there for weight. But we do have wings that can add another knife or two. No problem. So side dressing explains why we have this rig. Now, I hate refilling it out of the big tanks we get from the co-op.
put on a plan saying we'll put on another 40, roughly. And I figure if your goal is about a pound of nitrogen per bushel, that's my goal. If I had perfect fields with great drainage and not clay, uh, what other problems? No trees and shade? Yeah, I could get 200 bushel of corn easy. Hydraulics, this is the three point I was talking about. Let's pull the pins and put that on the tractor. There's a cylinder up underneath here. Cylinder, lovely. 
I broke one of those earlier on the disc today. Maybe we'll make a video about that. <coughs> Obviously wings on top. We can put one, maybe two, depending upon our spacing. <clears throat> it's set up for side dressing, so we would be going down the middle of the corn rows if we had to. There used to be a hitch right here. You pull a, car, a wagon. But we took that off because we got these closers last year to hopefully help us out. The original closers mostly cut the grass and didn't do much for us. Since we're doing this after tillage, these disc ones will throw it over and cover it up. They're old. I bought like, oh, seven or nine of these things for a hundred bucks. They're not spectacular looking. They're loose for a hundred bucks. Not bad. Um, other fun stuff. I didn't put the cap on the fill. <clears throat> There's our gauge. Put a new seal behind that. 100 pounds of pressure. Since the sun's going down, it's going to be hard to maintain pressure in the tank. Bleeder valve for vapor. Valve with the regulator. Pull the rope. We got the dial on top. We're supposed to be at 1080. Based on our width and speed, uh, if the backside has what uh, what formula to use for speed and your width of your toolbar, pull the rope, turn it on. Pull the rope, turn it off. And that's how we knife anhydrous.